What's the main difference between data access object and domain driven design repository? In this video, I explain to you how the main difference and how to apply this terminology in your project today and take advantage of both data patterns. Hello you, my name is Otavio Santana and welcome to my YouTube channel, the channel for you who wants to become a better software engineer. It's time to learn and apply how to use the best of open source practice inside your career today and become an ultimate software engineer. So if you want to learn more about how to become a senior and a staff engineer, subscribe in my channel. Okay. In this video right now, I will explain the difference between data access object and domain driven design repository. Okay, the main point to explain the difference goes exactly inside the semantic and the methods terminology. When we talk about data access object, we go directly to the data centric API. So the data operations like insert, update, delete are the goal of data access object. And on the other hand, when we go to repository, we focus more in the semantic and the technology around the domain, okay? I will create here to demonstrate this idea on the interface API. I will create the hotel management where my entity is the room, right? So I will create here my room as empty, so my room here. I will define the ID that naturally can be the wrong number, right? And then I can check the uh, availability of the room, naturally, right? And then if the room is clean, for example, it's clean, and finally the guest. In our sample case here, we will create this guest as a value object. So I can use a record here just to demonstrate. So in my case, I have the guest using a name and also the document. So that is it for, for, for this sample code. So I do have my guest value object and then my room as an entity. Right now, let's explore both patterns around data. So I will start with data access object. As I said, it goes more around the centric of data, the data operation. So we're gonna see more insert, update, delete operation methods. So I will create my room. One second, room data access object or DAO where I will have a couple of operations. So I will define as an interface. We want to implement here. And here we're gonna put several operations. So the word insert, the room, the update, and the lead. And naturally I can do defined, right? Defined, so find by ID, where, or find by number, where I can check and retrieve information by the ID, or in this case, the run room number. So that is the data access object terminology, more around the data centric way, a more centric approach. And on the other hand, I will create for you the repository. In this case, we can explore the terminology. For example, you can use rooms in plural, or we can define the collection of room that is the hotel. You can also use the room repository, okay? So it's usually normal to see more room repository, but if you go more to the peer, the, 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 you're gonna create a collection of this, this entity. In this case, the hotel fits better and here, I, what I can do, so instead of do or having insert, update, delete, 
you can do the semantic of the design. So I have the check-in where I will search information. I have the checkout where I will delete some information and then I can check the reservation. So check reservation where I will, oops, that is a mistake here, where I will retrieve information. But on this case, I'm using more the domain state for KPI. So that is it. So that's the main difference between those data patterns in Java. One goes to the data centric with data operations and another one go more to the ubiquitous language. This way, explore more the domain terminology. And that is it. So please let me know, how about you? Are you using repository or data access object in your code right now? And naturally, if you enjoyed this video, please give the like and subscribe to this channel, especially because I can help you to become a better software engineer.